Hello guys, good morning everybody, good morning, welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday and today is at least Sunday. Uh, we're not going out anywhere for the weeks now since I arrived from the holiday. So, uh, what we're going to do today is just a uh, simple recall of what has happened for the past year. What are our goals this year? I'm really sure I know my goals this year now. Um, it was a very wonderful experience for me to surprise my family back at home because then um, I would have not planned 2014 as big as this without going home. My plan for 2014 is only going to Morocco, going to Manila again, going to Seychelles, going to Vietnam, going to uh, Japan. Those were my plans for 2014 and I realized that I just realized it very recently in my childhood memories when I got home. So what happened last Christmas, last December season, Yuletide season, I went to surprise my mom. So I took a leave for 14 days. And um, I went to Manila first to fix my errands. Uh, that's what I do. Um, not I don't normally share my schedules with my family, but what I do, I really wrote or I have written all my schedules. What are the things and errands that needs to be done without anybody to block my schedule? Because then um, I'm gonna mess up. So yeah, that's what I do. I make a schedule, and this is what I do today. And I do this and do that, and then I all fully achieve, and then flown domestic flight from Manila to Cagayan de Oro for the holiday season for the Christmas break and that was on 23rd and um, just a quick story on 23rd it was I I arrived very early because our flight is 2 o'clock in the morning from Manila to Cagayan de Oro and um, I needed a place to I needed a place to just uh, wait until the the, the SM mall opens at 10 supermarket. So I need to buy groceries first before I go home, before I visit my hometown. And it was last uh, August 2018 when I last saw my house, our very old house. And yeah, it was. it is now more than 30 years old house i was still young and uh, we live in there i can imagine our the spirits <laughs> i realized it was very old anyway so i waited i left all my bags there at uh, magnum where i drove from the airport to the city and then i went to mcdo to have my breakfast and do some work as well and then one the time that uh, the mall so is a mall opened and um, I went there for a grocery I went to buy some stuff for my aunties for my mom for my siblings I did some shoppings as well at the mall and uh, yeah and then so it was already 12 noon uh, because I waited for my friend Bebot and Sarah and uh, finally he was, uh, he was so busy but he spent time with me took me picked me up at the mall and bring all my stuff that I bought and I'm so lucky because normal I would be, I would struggle or I will not be able to buy or bring those groceries with me if no one is gonna pick me because it's just a lot I can't put it on my I have to use that um, trolley so yes um, I was so grateful that I be able to pick me up because I thought of ordering a taxi and then hiring people and hiring drivers to bring me to home and I would be a disaster and cost a lot of money because my house is just very very far in the mountains so yes that's what uh, luckily he, uh, he called me and picked me up after an hour but and I was so grateful and then I, we, we drove and we have some hiccups on the road because then the road is really not as good as what we are experiencing here but we managed and um, it's a very good feeling to be at home so uh, to cut it short we arrived in the after almost evening afternoon 
yeah, we arrived around four o'clock in the afternoon, and I surprised my family for the holidays. So here's a video. <laughs> the video is right here. This is how I surprised them. And all, uh, yeah. So um, one day, it was after Christmas. I went to the. I think it's after Christmas. Yeah, I think so. I went to the mountain with mom and just wanted to see how it looks like the you know the the village the the mountain life. I, I know it for sure but it's been a while that I haven't experienced it of being in that moment, being the farmer. So yes I was there, I saw where she she, she stays, she had some Cows, horse, and pigs, chickens, dogs there, and and it was amazing. It was very nice. <sighs> it was a good feeling that I was there. And then we went all the way to the mountain to see the the view. And this is the mountain, and this is the wonderful view around it. It was amazing. And then that's where my goal started. I can't share it now. But definitely, I'm very motivated and very inspired to, to do that goal. And I believe in purpose. That out of nowhere, out of nowhere, my brain cell starts remembering my past. My brain cell starts remembering what I want back when I was a kid. I remember when I was a kid, this is all to me. I I was just dreaming about having them. I was just dreaming of and there. That was that was my dream. That was a very nice dream I had. I was so and that time I was still a child, I have no clue whatsoever where I'm heading, where I'm going. So I, I don't even meant to be that I have to visit home, because first of all, going home for Christmas is not my plan. My plan was to go to Brazil for Christmas, to spend a holiday alone, but doing my own thing. Visiting places, walking, visiting the mountain, going to Rio de Janeiro. That was my plan for my Christmas. And... Unfortunately, it took a while to get to that plan where it is six months before it was possible. And then it turned out my ticket went so bad, went it's so expensive that it's not no longer the same as my ticket to Philippines. It went all the way to 4,000 USD like crazy to like how much? 200,000 plus for the ticket to reach there. And that was crazy expensive. And since Christmas, so that's why. But normally you can just buy them at two thousand dollars or a hundred thousand to to reach to Brazil. So yeah, that's what that what that's what happened and it was crazy. Um uh, yeah, so now I came back from Philippines, now I'm in my home resident country and doing my work as usual. And uh, I'm very grateful by the way that I, I went home. It made me realize things and a lot of things, not only this dream but also what I need to improve and what I need to do. Only that the pressure is there but the time is there, I know the time, I have time. Last year I thought I don't have time, honestly. But I don't want to talk about it. So it's difficult for me to talk about it. But that's only the thing. I thought I thought I don't have time. Twenty twenty three I I don't think I, I was just depressed and problematic. I was very hard on myself. And I made it very light at the end of the year. So 
Yeah, so I never thought of making a long-term plan because I thought I would not manage, my body would not manage and my, I'm not gonna be alive. I don't know. But God showed me that my, I am well, I am healthy, I can, I'm driven, I'm motivated and inspired to do this. So this is the second chance now and I will not put it in vain. You will see me. Future is brighter than the past. Today and tomorrow and the future days are brighter than yesterday. So you will see me. You will not see me cry here. You will see me being brave and strong. And you see a changed person. Hi guys, this is a dramatic video. I don't want to post it because I don't want people to see how vulnerable I am. That's not possible.